Comment on blog posts that use Facebook comments. Here's the step-by-step -step directions you need to follow for this marketing technique. Step number one, use your targeted keywords in Google to find blog posts that use the Facebook comments plugin. Use this search parameter, your keyword or key phrase here, plus Facebook comment plugin. Of course, modify that search string with your specific keyword. You use one keyword at a time. I know you have a lot of keywords on your list. Do unique searches for each one of your keywords using that string, and you should be able to retrieve a lot of results on Google. Step number two, go through each result and filter them based on relevance to your layer one content. Click through each and every result. Read each post. Does it make sense to comment on this post and refer to your layer one content? Is there a strong enough connection? If the answer is yes, then copy and paste that result to a separate file and keep filtering your results. At the end of this process, you should have a long list of blog posts that use the Facebook comment plugin that are related enough to your niche. Given this topical similarity, it's easier to post your link on your responses to these posts. Step number three, answer issues raised by the blog post. It's very important to signal to whoever wrote the blog post you're commenting on that you actually read their post. This means you're going to avoid posting, hey, good job, or I love this post, or other similar garbage. Instead, you're going to repeat some of what they said and explain your understanding of it. Then, you're also going to raise issues with them or raise questions. You may not agree and say so. After you do that, raise key points that are related to your Layer 1 content and then quote a segment of your content and then post a link. Done properly, your comment is not going to look like spam. Instead, your comment actually enhances the content that you're commenting on. Step number four. Make sure you only post when there's a direct fit. I can't repeat this enough. You must only post comments on a blog post that directly fit your niche. There also has to be a natural progression from your level one content to whatever content you're commenting on. Step number five, pace yourself. Look at each post as an investment. It's going to take you some time to craft a winning comment. You can't rush through this. You can't post garbage. You definitely cannot copy and paste the same answer over and over again. This is why you need to pace yourself. Each comment should be at least 200 to 300 words if you're doing this right. Obviously, you can't do this all day, so set up a schedule where you're commenting maybe 10, 20 times per day. The good news is this is an investment. If you're only posting high-quality materials, chances are most of your comments will not be taken down. Also, chances are people are actually going to click through. Shortcuts. Hire a virtual assistant from congoplus.com for only $30 per day. Not only can you set quotas with them, but they only list people who have a college degree and who have a strong command of the English language. Similarly, you can hire virtual assistants from places like Fiverr.com. Whatever you do, make sure you screen English proficiency if you're going to ask them to help you with this form of ClickBank marketing.